It's uh, pouring down in rain right now. I'm on the bike and a little drawback to riding a bike. It's not real hot today. By 80, it's going to be mild. If it was real hot, there's no thunder or lightning, I'd go ahead and get wet because it feels good. And uh, anyway, uh, so I thought this would be a good uh, vid time to make a video on the subject I'm going to talk about. Uh, I went to uh, uh, Mainville Elementary School. Uh, I started August 1969 to about what 75 before I went to junior high. Anyway, uh, about a year ago, uh, my sister my sister forwarded me a, a message from somebody she knew, and uh, the message said. Uh, uh, do you re do you remember a boy by the name of now? I won't give the real name. I'll give an alias, uh, John uh, John Doe. Do you know a boy by the name of John Doe back 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 in elementary school? Wow, you know. So I've got to think back uh, fifty years five zero. I said, yeah. That name does ring a bell, but I can't place him. I can't. Rem I can't remember what he looked like. Well, they sent me a picture. I guess they don't know how to um, uh, enlar uh, enlarge the file, and the picture was too small to make a positive ID. Even though it sort of resembled the one the uh, I used to play with them at recess. Uh, we played uh, tetherball. Now this, he may not be the same guy. But anyway, uh, uh, he said, or they said, I uh, want to let you know that, of course, you know, we all grew up. And want to let you know that uh, he was sent to prison. He apparently murdered or killed his girlfriend wife. Well, not apparently. He was convicted on that. He was found guilty. That's confirmed. But apparently he stuffed the body into a barrel. Now when you do that, you're pretty bad. And when they told me he was found guilty on murder, uh, one boy come to my mind. Uh, back when I was in elementary school here in Warren County, during recess, used to play tetherball with a boy, and uh, he kind of fits this profile. Now, I'm not saying it was him, but when they told me uh, John Doe was sent to prison for murder, he is the first one I thought of. And uh, when we play tetherball, in case you don't know what that is, it's a ball a little smaller than a basketball. And there's a rope tie. There's a rope attached to the ball, and the object of the game is uh, try to uh, uh, knock the ball around the pole before your opponent can stop it. Anyway, uh, he was uh, kind of on the chubby side. He had these thick arms, so he uh, he was real rough. You know, he had he wouldn't know what you call muscular, no, but he had that weight going for him. And he used to, uh, he used to beat the ball to death. Uh, no one liked playing with him because he was so rough with the ball. I played with I played with him on and off, but he hit it so hard. If you try to stop the ball, it just sting your hand. That's how hard he hit it. And you could be on the other side of the playground, and you could hear the concussions when he hit it. You know that smack sound. You could hear that on the other side of the playground. That's how hard he hit the ball. Now, he wasn't a bully. No, no. I don't remember him being a bully, but he seemed like he was a decent boy. I'm sorry for the traffic. Seemed like he was a decent boy, but once he got that tether ball in his hands, he was rough. And when they told me uh, he, uh, John Doe went to prison over murder, 
I guess Lucas Hill. Uh, I'm gonna look it up and see what he was sentenced. If he if he had life without the possibility of parole, I don't know. He may be on death row. I don't know. When I get the money, I'm gonna look at look look him up. But when they told me that uh, he he was in my sister's class, and but you know during recess we all played together on the playground. You know the the playground was crowded with us. There was a lot of us on the playground. And but when they told me that, he was the first person I thought of. Whether it's him or not, I don't know. But my dad my dad messaged me and said, Did you know him? I said, Yeah, I think I did. Uh, I used to play uh, uh, a tether ball with him on the playground during the recess at school. This uh, this hat this was a uh, 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 when when I knew him, this is the early mid 70s. 76, I was in junior high, so from 69 to 75, 1975. Uh, so probably around uh, 1974. Uh, probably my last year on the playground, or 75. I'm gonna base it right around seven, 1974. It could have been 75, but his name did ring a bell. It's just the picture they sent me was just too small. I couldn't make a 100% positive ID. From what I could see of the small picture, it, re it looked like him, you know, but I couldn't 100% tell. No positive ID. You know, it doesn't matter what decade you grow up in. There's always somebody bad. Grows up to be bad. It doesn't matter what decade. Did it surprise me? Oh, yeah. Did it shock me? No. You know, it is the real world. No, it didn't shock me, shock, no. But I was surprised. Because, uh, you know, back in my days, the, the so-called bully, you didn't last long. Because you got punished. And you, you got paddling. Uh, one time he, he was hitting the tether. But now teachers had told him to quit being rough on it. But he was a little bit you know uh, slightly heavy and I guess the teachers overlooked that one one time he hit the tether ball so hard that it broke the rope the rope tore from it and it went flying the ball because you know that he broke the uh, connection where the uh, rope was attached to the ball and it hit a teacher right in the leg <laughs> he got punished yeah they made him stand against outside stand against the wall the entire re he wouldn't allow the move. I remember that. St stuck his nose. You know, back then they could do that to you, I punish you that way. Back in my days, they st uh, he had to stick his nose to the uh, brick wall outside. He had to stand there, outside with his uh, nose against a brick wall. Stand, not move. He did move a couple times, and they jumped him over it. You know, stop moving. He had to stand there. But you no, know, next day they fixed the rope. They reattached the rope to the ball and. He was allowed to play again. But yeah, I uh, I remember his name. 